Today I'm out on Church Lane in Clara to show you Curtin House, this fantastic four bed detached family home. Clara is really well situated, it's just a five minute drive from Redford Town Centre and within the village itself there is a spa shop, a pub, primary school, post office ran from within the village hall and it sits within the catchment area of Redford Oaks, Elizabethan Academy and Gainesville Grammar School. House has plenty of off-road parking with this gravel driveway. The rear garden is a really good size and that is fully enclosed as well. Inside the property itself it is really modern and well presented throughout so let's take a look inside. Curtain House sits on Church Lane. There's plenty of beautiful countryside walks right on its doorstep. There's loads of public footpaths you can walk along Chesterfield Canal or through Clarborough Nature Reserve. Curtain House has these timber gates which open up onto a large gravel driveway and parking area. Through the gate here we have a pathway which leads up to the rear garden, a staircase which leads to a door accessing the first floor of the property and the stable door here accessing the ground floor. So we're straight in here to this really beautiful, modern, open plan kitchen diner family room. We've got this large window overlooking the front. It pretty much spans the width of the room so it lets in loads of natural light. There's plenty of space in this area for a dining room table as well as a sofa. We've got a staircase there leading up to the first floor. The kitchen itself has this breakfast bar which accommodates four stools. The base units in the kitchen are sat beneath a quartz work surface. We've got a double Belfast sink, an integrated induction four ring hob with extractor fan, and two integrated ovens within this beautiful full size alcove with a timber beam over. We've got the understair storage cupboard here, which is currently fitted with lots of shelving, so it makes it a great pantry space. This butcher block style central island, which is actually on wheels so it can be moved around, and a door access in the utility. The utility is a really good sized room. Again, we've got this large window overlooking the front garden. There's space, plumbing and supply in here for a washing machine as well as a tumble dryer. Turning around now, we're heading back through the kitchen towards the door with the staircase access in the first floor. So heading upstairs and we're going to turn initially to the left here. This is where we've got the door which is accessed via the external staircase. There's an overstair storage cupboard and then double doors accessing the sitting room. In here we've got an inset real flame gas stove and space above for a TV. There's plenty of space in here for lots of seating. And again, it's a really nice bright room. There's windows to left and right aspect, as well as this large box bay window overlooking the front. The sitting room has a timber effect laminate floor covering, which continues through to the landing. So we're heading now into bedroom number four. This room again has a timber effect laminate floor covering. In here, there is a built-in wardrobe, this room also has an additional double built-in wardrobe which you'll see as we turn around now. This is a really good sized double bedroom and again there's loads of natural light with a window overlooking the front and left aspect as well as these double patio doors which give access to the rear garden. So we're heading back out onto the landing and we're turning left into the shower room. This has got a timber effect tiled floor covering it's a three-piece suite with a wash hand basin, low-level toilet, 
and this really large shower enclosure, which has got a deluge shower head as well as an additional handheld shower attachment within. And next door, we've got the further family bathroom, which again has a timber effect tile floor covering. It's also a three piece suite with a low level toilet, wash hand basin set within a vanity unit and a P-shaped bath, which again has a deluge shower head as well as an additional handheld shower attachment within. Back out onto the landing and we're turning now into bedroom number two. This room also benefits from built-in double wardrobes. It has a window to the left which overlooks the rear garden and again it's a really good sized double bedroom. We're now turning and walking across into the master bedroom. This has a window to right aspect as well as this beautiful bay window overlooking the rear garden. There's plenty of space in this room for a king size bed as well as freestanding wardrobes. And finally we're now turning into bedroom number three which again is a really good sized double room. We've got a window to right aspect We've also got the overstair storage cupboard which is really deep so there's plenty of space for shelving and rails if you want to utilise it as a wardrobe. So we're back outside now and we're heading along the path which leads up to the rear garden. It's a really good sized garden and it's full of mature flower beds. So around here we've got a gravelled seating area which can be accessed by the double doors in bedroom number four. There's a concrete hard standing where a hot tub is currently situated. And then we've got this large timber summer house. It's currently used as a gym but it would make a fantastic home office or studio. The rear garden is fully enclosed, so it's great if you've got young children or pets. This property is available to view now, so if you want to book in, give us a call. The number is 01777808777, email hello at nicholsonsestateagents.co.uk or DM us on the socials.